A handsaw is one of the most basic tools in carpentry. Here's how to use one correctly. There are three common types of handsaws. The first is a rip saw. A rip saw is designed to rip, that is, to cut wood with the grain. The teeth of a rip saw are all set in the same direction, with a deep valley or gullet, so that the saw does not bind when cutting with the grain. This rip saw leaves a fairly fine pattern on the sawn wood. The fineness of the cut is also affected by the number of teeth per inch on the saw. This rip saw has eight teeth per inch. The more teeth, the finer the cut, but the slower the saw cuts through the wood. A more common saw is the crosscut saw. A crosscut saw is designed to cut across the grain of the wood. The teeth of a crosscut saw have a shallower valley or gullet between the points. The teeth are bent in opposition to each other. The result of a cut with a crosscut saw is a fine cross grain finish. A recent development is the combination saw. The combination saw is an all purpose saw that will not only rip and cross cut, but will also cut other materials beside wood, such as PVC plastic pipe. The teeth are vertical, with sharpened edges facing each other. The saw cuts quickly in any direction, and as a result, it leaves a slightly rougher edge. Unlike traditional saws, combination saws do not need to be resharpened. When the saw becomes dull, simply replace it with a new one. Using a handsaw accurately starts with measuring and striking a line using a combination square and a sharp pencil. Place a finger along the edge of the line and guide the saw so it rests on the scrap side of the line. Slowly pull on the saw at a low angle to start the cut. As soon as the saw is in motion, move your hand away from the saw and holding the saw at about 60 degrees. American hand saws cut on the push. Guide the saw with a steady motion using the full length of the saw. As you reach the end of your cut, flatten the angle of the saw blade and make a gentle, shallow final cut.